back up. Hey, Cletus, we got some stuff to talk about. Wait, why? What happened? I'm, uh, I thought you were, I don't know what you were talking about. I thought I was getting promoted. Hey, Cletus. Howdy. Where you at? I'm, uh, I just got into the, uh, I just got into the MRB. Where, where, uh, where do you want me to be? Cells. Howdy, Barricade. You guys back up? Hey, Cletus, we got some stuff to talk about. Wait, why? What happened? You're gonna walk inside that door. Okay. And you're gonna take a you seat. You guys tell me back oh, up? Oh, shit. Okay. We'll go from there. Howdy. Wait, what happened? Hey, take a seat. Okay. You guys are here to settle your beef between one another. We're gonna hash things out. We're gonna be better when we leave this room. Uh, uh, let me just do my introduction, Cornwood, okay? Okay, okay. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. I've been having a rough time recently. I've been having such a rough time. I'm trying to make it so that, you know, we got smooth run-ins in shift one. Because mm -hmm. that's, you know, when I'm mainly around. Not because I don't give a shit about other shifts, because I do. It's just that's when I'm around, all right? Okay. I know that shit's been difficult for some people in the past. So, you know, I'm trying to make sure that, hey, people know we're doing it differently. But we still have ways in which we need to operate, all right? What happened yesterday really got to me, okay? I put out a general announcement for PD in the meeting about professionalism. And I was immediately met with questions and rebuttals from yourself and uh, Denzel. I, I feel like it's a constant battle between myself and you guys. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I, sorry. I, yeah I, never, I, never, I, I ain't never made... Uh, meant to make you feel that way. I'm I'm sorry, Viv. In all, in all, okay. So in all seriousness, what I'm trying to get at is there are times where I'm gonna have to have difficult conversations with people in relation to mistakes that have been made. I don't care if people make mistakes. All right. Obviously, if someone decides to go out and commit just cold-blooded murder, that's a different matter. But like, if you make a if you make a mistake regarding police work or anything like that i'm gonna I, I obviously i have to do my due diligence of a command member look into things and then try and handle it as best as i can but i don't want people to think that i'm coming for them just because i'm doing that shit. the reason why we ended up in in here is because i'd mentioned to barrack that i feel sometimes i'm like on an up upward battle uphill battle you know oh shit. yeah i'm sorry yeah i i, I never meant, meant to Make you feel that way. Do you, do you, I mean, like, I don't want to make people feel like they're targeted either. So if that's like, if that's ever come across, then obviously I apologize as well. But that's not, it's not my job. My job is to just try and make sure that everybody's operating as best as we can. Right. No, I, I agree. I, I never had any damn uh, ill will or nothing towards you. I was just, I was just asking because I was, I was asking for my own learning. I, see, that's the thing. I think I, I ask a lot of questions because I'm, I'm trying to get a comprehensive understanding of shit. And no, I would, I would yeah. rather you ask questions. I just kind of felt like you guys were doing it because you had a knee-jerk reaction that one of you was in trouble about something. Oh, no. And no, it, I, I was not worried about that at all. Cause I, I, yeah, I was I more concerned about Denzel and his reaction because I know that obviously he... he he does feel a type of way about uh, mistakes being made and being talked to about things. But you know, if that was if that was the case, if it was just him, then I would have spoken to him. I wouldn't have said it in front of the meeting. The meeting was because it needed to. It was just a general reminder. Yeah, and I, I never, like I said, I never made, made, meant to make you feel like I was putting you on the spot or, or like I, I got a little bit overboard with the the Fredo thing because I just it, it was just one of them. Yeah, things well, I found out as well. I found out from Denzel that he was stirring. He's like, oh, no, that was just me staring. Wait, when? Yeah, I mean, he was just in here before you. Oh. You're not in trouble at all. No, I mean, this yeah. is just how I want to deal with people. This, this, is, this, is, how, just, this is how I, I just, like to deal with shit. Actually, I'll be honest with you, Vib. I, I was looking for you after the meeting, but I couldn't find you just now. And I was like, I got to leave this building. Uh, oh, no, yeah, no, I've been tied up in like a shit ton of things because I was talking with Dana and everything, doing her accent interview. Yeah, so I, uh, how it goes. I just pat in passing, Beric said, how are things going? And I was just like, oh, I'm just having a bit of a rough time. I had a bit of a rant to him. And then all of a sudden we're in here. Yeah, this I mean, I don't want to let you simmer in trouble. and like stew or in cook for, you know, insert this yeah. amount of time. If people got problems, we're going to solve the problems. I had no beef, qualm, whatever the hell. I, I, I hadn't felt none of that. Well, it might not be about that specific situation, but you have something that's just like bothering you. At all it could, be, like, it could just be in general it could be a command thing it could be you know this and the other like whatever it might be uh i feel like i feel like i bring up a lot of shit other people don't have the context of and people just choose to ignore what the hell i'm saying and i'm like hello i'm the i was the and only person the, there who are these people are it's, talking about? it's the problem is is okay so here's another thing i do i don't give specific names okay and people are like well who, who are these people one of two things one i don't like throwing people in the bus right but understandable but, but if you have to say, you have to say. But two, sometimes I'm just going to keep it real. There's so many damn people that, that treat you a certain way that I just kind of forget. <laughs> like, I just, I hear it so much 
then I'm like, or I feel it so much that I'm like, and it ain't like I'm fighting ghosts, right? But it's like, like why, why, why am I not being understood here? Like I'm, I'm I feel like I'm being very comprehensive in, in how I explain things. I, I give it from every angle, and then it's more so like folks instead of having the conversation with you, they're almost like thinking about what they're gonna say next as opposed to taking in what you're saying, and they're just waiting for their answer. And I feel like that it happens a whole hell of a lot. Yeah, and sometimes you know, regardless of how, oh man. This is something that I have uh, really struggled with throughout life, but I feel like I finally accepted the idea of no matter how you lay things on the table, no matter how well you believe that you push some kind of information, how people are going to receive it is just, it's impossible to know. Yeah. It's impossible. Like, I'll be people honest. Gonna yeah. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. There you go. Well, I was just going to give that sheriff's office presentation as an example. I felt like that was, I felt like I explained pretty damn well why it was important that we have the sheriff's office. But I, the, the room was like crickets afterwards. So I was like, okay. So I've been waiting six weeks for this shit. And and uh, there's no feedback, no nothing. I was like, you know, so I, I felt like I, I mean, I felt like, did I screw this up? Did I say something wrong? But uh, I think it'll still go fine. I think the, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to speak illy of anybody, but yeah, I don't, the I don't energy know. was definitely not in the room yeah. at the time. Yeah, that's certainly what it felt like. Regardless if the presentation was good or not, the, the energy was not there. Yeah, that's that's what it felt like. I was like, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I, I didn't. Uh, yeah, I never meant no ill will or nothing. I mean, ever since the day I've been here, I always try and be as honest as possible. And from what I've learned, and it ain't gonna change, okay, regardless of what I learned. But what I've learned is sometimes when you're as honest as possible and you're upfront with folks and you just say some shit, it just it. I don't. know, People think you have some kind of ulterior motive. Yeah. Or or so some shit. And I'm like, I don't. I mean, I ain't, listen. I ain't gonna change. I'm gonna tell you how I feel. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It, just be honest with you. If you ask me about something, hey, what happened here? I'll tell you what happened. I ain't gonna lie. Now, I might not remember something quite well, to be fair, right? But I ain't gonna lie. I don't think you meant ill will by anything that you've done. I'm not accusing you of that. This isn't why we're here. I mm -hmm. was just saying how I was having a tough time with having to, like, try and explain things to people sometimes. I don't care about the questions. The questions are fine. It just, it fit. Sometimes it feels like... Like I was challenging you, or, or you were being challenged. Yeah, because Denzel was, right? Uh, but then yeah. I found out afterwards that Denzel was just staring, so... Yeah, I, t I told him to stop. That, that's, uh, yeah, no. I, yeah, literally, literally yeah, like, I, I, actually, like, I, I right after that. that, I was like, okay, you, you gotta stop. Because I had a legitimate question. I told him, I was like, okay, you, you, okay, relax. I know what you're doing here. And sometimes, you know, yeah. jokes and banter is one thing, but sometimes it, it, it's gotta like go both stare. ways, right? And if you don't yeah, know how it's I, going, then, then yeah, you, exactly. Uh objectively definitely was stirring in the way that i brought you down here so apologies for that but i thought it would be funny <laughs> we got it hey. it is pretty funny hey listen but sometimes it's the two people that <laughs> the two people i just said may have a bit of an issue when we bring up problems and might panic a little bit especially denzel we dragged him down well i I like intentionally called them and i was like <laughs> in the most like serious way possible i was like we need to talk i need you to come down to I need you to come down to mission Row. yeah i'll see you when you get here yeah, I'm hung up the phone. <laughs> See, I'm gonna be honest. I, 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 and I knew that you would take it this way. However, you're about to explain it. So well, well, I just thought it would be funny. I didn't. I didn't think I was in trouble at all. Oh. I thought. I'm not. I thought you were. I don't know what you wanted to talk to me. I thought I was getting promoted. You know, hell. <laughs> yeah, I just like <laughs> my mental thoughts as well. I like to throw a curveball. Yeah, but uh, uh, joking aside, and two things. One, I, I need to connect you and Alice Watson, Viv, okay. because we interrogated the guy for like four hours the night. Which guy? The, uh, the guy with the gun? The gun guy? M yeah, Muf Mufasa Hoffer. Yeah. Hey, did y'all talk? Because I told her. But I, I don't uh, know if y'all overlapped yet. No, we haven't. So I'm 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 gonna be. I got I got to head head up to the. Uh, I'm not even going up to the farm. This weekend i'm gonna be in uh california which is horrible and i hate that place. oh my god yeah i know so uh i'm gonna be out so of town sorry. yeah i know i appreciate it the poor thing yeah so i'm, I'm gonna home. be gone for like four or five days set it's the end of the pd well we'll see yeah. what happens there won't be a police department when you come back it'll just be a barren <laughs> wasteland ashes well uh, sure shall hope not Shit. gonna have the war across the shore number two and then the whole state's just gonna collapse again we're just gonna run it back. Well, okay, uh, when you come back, I'll be dead. Uh, Ruth will be back. He'll be the chief, and uh, and I'll still be asking for the sheriff's office. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it is what it is. You know, death and taxes and sheriff's office. You know, that's what they say.